You know, springtime's a great time of year to catch big bass on bladed baits, spinner baits, chatter baits. They're both really effective. In this episode, I'm going to talk about fishing them both and also go over the catches that helped me win the 2024 RLDL Online Bladed Bait Challenge. Stay tuned. Shane Flynn Outdoors brought to you by Omnia Fishing. Experience the most personalized tackle shopping on earth. And MMA Fishing. Fight the bite. Also by Bent Rod Fishing. Get bent, stay bent. <laughs> what a big girl. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by for another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about bladed baits, specifically chatter baits and spinner baits. You know, right now I am fishing the chatter bait, really love the chatter bait. But if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you realize that I catch a lot of bass on a spinner bait, especially in the winter and in spring and up until spawn. Matter of fact, just this year, I've caught 28 bass over five pounds on a spinner bait, and the largest being over nine pounds. But so I'm really struggling to get some fish on, on the chatterbait this year because I want to get an episode with me catching fish with a chatterbait versus a spinnerbait. And the main reason I'm out here on this day is the very last day of the RLDL Bladed Bait Challenge which is an online tournament amongst YouTube channels to see who can catch the largest three bass on bladed baits only. And as of today, I'm in dead last place. This is the last day. I've only got a few hours to get in here and try to catch some fish. And I'm throwing this chatterbait, and I'm just wishing fish to get on the lure. And I, I love the chatterbait because you can do a lot with it, skip it under limbs, which you see me do there, and get it in some places you can't get a spinnerbait. But... I don't catch any fish on the chatterbait, so I turn around and pick up my spinnerbait, and this is about three minutes after I uh, put down the chatterbait. And what I do then is I go, I'm going to go reverse course and see, refish the same area that I fished with the chatterbait to see if I can catch them on a spinnerbait. And you can see the results. I just missed a absolute giant of a bass. Absolute giant. The spinnerbait is excellent to use around stumps and logs and things you can get hung up on. The chatterbait, not so much. But the chatterbait really shines in vegetation. You can rip it through the vegetation and drive reaction strikes. Take long. Oh, how big are you, bro? Get you in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, two and a half pounds, maybe three. The one, I, the one I just missed was a lot, lot bigger than that. Let's get a measure it on. Right, gonna... If you recall earlier, I said I like to throw a chatterbait because I can throw it and skip it up under tree limbs where you can't get a spinnerbait. Well, check out this next cast as I hit a tree limb and see what the results are. Am I going to boat swing this big one? Oh, ho, ho, ho. how about it? <laughs> I didn't mean to really. That's it. Folks, I don't recommend boat swinging big bass like that. <laughs> Solid five. Nice big bass right there. Big Becky. So this is the second area that I come across that I've already fished with a chatterbait and had no luck. Now, if you're wondering why am I being successful with the spinnerbait today versus the chatterbait, well, there are two primary differences between the chatterbait and the spinnerbait. It's the flash and the vibration. There's less vibration and less flash on a chatterbait. It is a different vibration and a different flash, but you get more flash and more vibration primarily with the spinnerbait, especially depending on the type of blade setup. Now, when do you throw which? You just have to go with your gut. And let the fish tell you. If you're catching them on a spinnerbait, stick with the spinnerbait. If you're catching them on a chatterbait, stick with that. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I should have found it. Yeah, I'd love to get one. Sure. Nice three pounder. 
couple more things to think about when you're trying to decide between a spinnerbait and a chatterbait. You definitely need some surface interruption, some wind on the water with a spinnerbait. You don't have to have that with a chatterbait. And also with a chatterbait, you can pump it, you can stop and go, you can jig it. It gives you a lot more options on how to fish that bait. Yeah. There we go. Nice one. Just running around catching two and a half pounders all day. It's nothing wrong with that. She's really fat. Back up in there. Probably getting ready to make a bed here. Tail's not bloody. So these beds are these bass are just like cruising around finding where they're gonna be making their beds. Water temperature is still at 63, so still in that good spawning uh, temperature where they start to really think about spawning. Gonna measure her up for a little turn that we got going on. Hey, she didn't hit the water. Come on. <laughs> I don't even see just hit the water. Oh, another little two pounder. I mean, it's like he reached the bank, caught that as it was hitting it. It's a female, a little fat female. Caught it out of the air. I mean, as soon as it hit the water, she jumped on it. <coughs> I'd like to take just a minute to thank Mike for putting this tournament together. Reese Life Dad Life Fishing has put three or four of these together in the past that I've competed in, and they are just a blast. And all the other YouTube channels, they have a blast as well competing in the tournament. Now, the catches that I had today ended up propelling me into first place um, in the championship at 58 inches. Didn't quite get the big bass, but um, I got the overall length. Now, we did have some subcategories. Um, we had the biggest bass was another category of a winner, and then we had the most bass. And the overall, the biggest bass was by Greg Chapin, and then the most bass was William Johnson. So congratulations to those two, and congratulations to everyone who competed. It was just an awesome event. Well, it ended up being a pretty good afternoon of fishing. For about three hours, I caught 15 bass. Now, I did go back and throw the chatterbait a little bit more, but to no avail. I didn't catch any, any more fish on the chatterbait. I caught a few more on the spinnerbait. But it just goes to show you, both are great baits, but sometimes bass just per, prefer one bait over the other. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, tight lines and good luck fishing.